Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be making Lumpia Shanghai. So if you've never had Lumpia Shanghai like myself, they are the Filipino version of egg rolls. So they're wrapped in a very thin papery shell and inside is a combination of meat and vegetables, including onions and carrots. And then the whole thing is deep fried. And then it's also served with a dipping sauce that can be a sweet chili sauce, or it can be served with banana ketchup. So lovely Cheryl and Barbara kindly sent these two bottles of banana ketchup to me. I have the hot and spicy and the regular after they saw me make my Filipino style spaghetti, which this is often added to. Since I've already made the spaghetti sauce, I thought I'd make the Lumpia Shanghai just so I can taste my sauces. This recipe is actually inspired by my friend Jen, and this is actually her mom's recipe, and I will include a link down below if you want to see a very cute video of them making their Lumpia Shanghai together. I have my little army of Lumpia Shanghai already wrapped and rolled and ready to fry. Let me walk you through the steps of getting to this point. So in a large bowl, we're gonna add our ground meat. You can use pork, chicken, turkey, or a combination of any of those meats. Next, we're gonna add our finely diced carrots, our minced onion, green onion, soy sauce, minced garlic, and salt and pepper. A little bit of white pepper and some sugar. And then we're gonna mix this until it's all well incorporated, and then we're ready to wrap. So I'm using these wrappers here. You can find them in the frozen food section at your local Asian market. And we're gonna take them and cut them in half along the diagonal. This is a half batch. If you wanna make a full batch, you wanna double the ingredients. To keep the wrappers from drying out, you wanna take a paper towel that's a little bit damp and place that over the wrappers while you're wrapping so they don't dry out. Next, we're gonna peel them apart. You take the triangle, place it with the wide base nearest to you. Take about a teaspoon of the meat mixture and spread it thinly into a rectangle. Then fold up the sides to make a neat little pocket and then roll the whole thing into a nice little tight cigar. We're gonna take a little bit of beaten egg and put it on the end of the triangle and then roll it up tightly. So at this point you can fry them right away or you can place them onto a pan that's been lined with some wax paper or parchment paper and then put them in the freezer. Once they're frozen solid then you can take them off the pan and put them into a bag and store them until you're ready to fry them. Okay, so that's where we're at now. I've got about a half an inch of peanut oil heating up here. I'm gonna do about medium high heat and I've got a rack and another pan to place my finished lumpia. Next, I've got a pair of chopsticks. Whoa, almost pierced myself with that. And we're gonna use this so we can manipulate our lumpia. I like using chopsticks. I feel like it can be a little bit more precise than using tongs. I think I actually learned this trick from me and can cook. If you take a pair of chopsticks and place in the oil and see little bubbles coming from the bottom, that means your oil's hot. I used to watch a lot of cooking shows with my mom and my brother on PBS on Saturday mornings, and that's one that we always just took a break because it's like, why play up the nonsense? Anyways, that's a trick we learned from the Yen Can Cook, right? Now we're gonna place our lumpia in there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Don't wanna put too many in here. Don't wanna drop the temperature too much. I'll put in four. Give these a little turn while they're cooking. Okay, that one looks done. Alrighty, so my beautiful Lumpia Shanghai look gorgeous. I can't wait to eat them. They're nice and crispy. And let's have one by itself before I taste the ketchup. All right, here we go. Itadakimasu. Mm-hmm. And that's absolutely delicious. The outside is nice and thin and crisp. What I like about it, it's a little bit thinner than a typical egg roll. It's not doughy at all. It's fully cooked and crisp. I feel like the emphasis though is actually on the filling, which is juicy, succulent, well-flavored, lots of garlic. And while it's similar to a Chinese American style egg roll, it's very different. The size is smaller, the outside is crisper, and the filling is different. There are no bean sprouts. And now the whole reason why I decided to make Lumpia Shanghai is to taste my banana ketchup. So this is the original Jufran. Let's give that a taste. Open this up. Ooh. Then it smells just like ketchup, vinegary and tomatoey. Let's see how it pours. It pours like regular ketchup too. <laughs> Doesn't want to come out of the glass bottle. Whoa. So in terms of consistency, this is very glossy. It looks like there might be some food coloring there. It's a very vivid red color. And it looks like it might have some starch in there too. It's a little bit gelatinous. All right, let's give that a taste with our lumpia. All right, here we go. 
Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's actually very tasty. I was actually very skeptical about this combination because I was envisioning Heinz ketchup it adds a little bit of tangy sweetness. It's very different than the ketchup that we find here in the US. Let me grab a spoon, hang on. Hmm. It doesn't have that spice note to it. It tastes tangy and very tomatoey, kind of like canned tomato. And it is sweet, although I don't taste any banana. Mm hmm. It's more like a tomato sauce. It actually goes really well with the lumpia. Mm hmm. And in this case, particularly served with the lumpia, it acts more like a sweet and sour sauce, kind of like that duck plum sauce. Now let's try the hot and spicy version. <laughs> All right, let's try that. Here you go. Mmm. Oh, I like that. Very similar flavor, but just a little touch of spice. Just a touch, just a little burn. I like that. Mm-hmm. This is definitely a ketchup with a little bit of heat. It's not a hot sauce, although the heat is present. I can feel it just warmly on my tongue. That is great. I think that would be absolutely wonderful with fries. From banana sauce or banana ketchup, I definitely preferred the hot and spicy to the original, but yeah, that was nice and surprising. Very different than American style ketchup. So there you have it, homemade lumpia, a really simple and easy recipe. I love the fact that you can make this in advance and put it in the freezer and cook it up whenever you need to. And if you want to see my first take on other Filipino dishes, be sure to check out my Jollibee taste test. All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, subscribe, and I shall see you in my next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye.